when you walk up the tunnel, you always have to go through the fans. And because we were way too, you could hear them shouting and stuff like that, but it was, it was funny. When I was growing up in Edfin and Castle, and my mum used to take me into them little parks to play football with the oldest. I was just enjoying it, really, because it was just fun to play football with different people. When I was a kid, I didn't have a position, really, so. I was always looking at the one scoring goals, like, of course, like any other kid. So, I always used to love Jogba. Always used to play, looking at Jogba, watching TV. When he was at Chelsea, he was one of my idols. It was more of, yeah, he's scoring loads of goals. He's an incredible player, legend. But yeah, now I like seeing players that I can see myself in. Similarities, similar qualities to me. And like a few players like Osman Dembele, Mbappe, Rashford. When I was in Paris, I used to play for PSG, so like three times a week, Monday, Wednesday and Friday. We used to go to training after school. My dad would pick me up, take me to training, have training with my, my teammates, stuff like that. But yeah, other than that, after school, on like Tuesdays and Thursdays, I'd always play football outside of my house. Like we had a little green, green space, a little bit of grass and we do like 3v3s, 4v4s, stuff like that. I'd probably say like seven, eight years old, I was getting recognised. I, I went on a trial to West Ham when I was in London, so yeah, that was pretty much when I started thinking, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm quite good. I'd say probably in England, probably the, because I was in the Premier League club. But yeah, the Premier League clubs were probably more structured, nice facilities, stuff like that compared to France, I'd say. The academy structures aren't as great as the Premier League structures. Good penalty, 1-0 Real Sociedad. So I haven't been to Manchester in, in a while, so I came back to Manchester and it was nice to be in that seat again. A few of my friends, as well came over to watch me play, so it was an incredible feeling. My family came, and yeah, it was just incredible to play in front of so many big players like Ronaldo, for example, at the time. So yeah, I just I just loved every moment of it. When you walk up the tunnel, you always have to go through the fans, and because we were way too, you could hear them shouting and stuff like that, but it was, it was funny, it was nice. During the game, I'm just enjoying it, doing every minute of it, keeping the ball, beating players. I'm always here to enjoy it. Like, if, if you don't enjoy it, there's no point in playing playing the game because if you don't like it why would you play so for me if you play if you're playing this it's because you like it so you have to enjoy it to the full to the fullest and yeah obviously with some competitiveness as well during the game because obviously you want to win stuff like that but that's what I'm here for to enjoy and to win games before I moved there I didn't speak Spanish so I speak French and English but it was really helpful because some players speak French some players didn't speak they only spoke English, so I could speak with a bit of everyone. But now I can like, have full conversations in Spanish, so it's really important to, to be like involved in, with the team, and the language they speak, which is part of like team grouping and stuff like that. So it's really good to like speak different languages for where you, depending where you go. Really like the city, nice the people were so nice so welcoming as well when I came as well the fans are incredible extraordinary really I just love like how they support our team even when we're losing they're always on us when I go into the city I pretty much always get recognized by loads of people when like the basically the city they just love the club so much they all even if you don't like football they always like support the club because it's such an iconic club for the city and stuff like that so they know the players so much and when you're out in the city, they straight away recognise you, but they're so nice, so welcoming. They just, and every time they're like so polite to me, asking me for photos, stuff like that. So yeah, I'm happy. Even when you make it to the first team, it's just the beginning, so you have to keep working to get into the squad. There's always, basically, you, have, you always have to make new objectives and new goals for yourself to like keep going and try to get to the highest, highest, highest place that you can, highest potential that you can like, do. So you have to be ready to sacrifice a lot of things. For example, going out with your friends, you can't 
you can't go out as you used to before because you have to be fully focused on your on your job, which is football. So you have to make a lot of sacrifices. That's part of the that's part of the world that we live in. I'm a young player, so for now, like I'm with France right now, so I'm just like really playing for France, working some France. But yeah, it's nice to have like a, a choice to pick from countries where I'm from, really, where I'm originate from or where I grew up. So when you look at first teams, you always imagine yourself hopefully playing in that team in the future. So yeah, of course, I love watching them, stuff like that. But obviously, honestly, I don't try to like focus too much on that. I'm just like more focused on club. Like if I play well in the club, everything will go according to plan. So. Thank you.